What's up, everybody? I gotta say this. I'm for my wishes. All I want for Christmas is an Xbox 360 with the headset and with the lot of gig, with a lot of memory in every game too, even the Kinect. But I know I'm never gonna get it because I wanted the Star Wars Xbox 360. But it's like this. But I do want to say this. It's around the Christmas time. And I know this was told back in October, and I thought, okay, this is kind of sad for this to happen, that a show that I watch every day at the same time, this attack of the show, and it's time to see that they're canceled, they are canceled by the end of this month of December, that there will be no more episodes of attack of the show, and I thought it was fucked up that this show has been on since 2005 and they ended it in 2020. So that's like, what, eight years that they've been on? And it's kind of sad to see them go so so quickly. Like, for real, man, I thought G4 was a channel for nerds about technology, about gaming, about what's coming out of at E3 or what's going on at Comic Con or something for nerds like I am because I'm a big Star Wars fool like when I heard Star Wars was bought by Disney broke my heart but that's where I get my nerd information at that's where I love to tune in every day to see who they get there get who's going to be on their show or what's in the feed because I watched that show just because of that. Just because of that. And it's bad that to see that Candace Bailey hosted it for a year. And she won't even last two years on the show. She went from Nickelodeon to Attack of the Show. Think about it. That's a big leap from Nickelodeon to G4, man. Why take that away from her? Like Kevin Pereira left, what, months ago? left months ago and left her to host herself host by herself and I think she's doing a pretty good job with with Sarah Underwood helping out damn she fine as fuck for a Playboy model to host the feed she is pretty much sexy as hell even though I miss Layla Kaylee they used to host the show everybody know who Layla Kaylee was back in the day when she used to host the feed and then then some of the other people from like Kristen Holt used to host the uh, host the feed sometime or Allison Hayslips like, y'all think I be forgetting people like it tells me how much of my nerve I could keep track of certain people's names who used to host the feed like for real like y'all can't sit up here saying y'all ain't gonna miss Sarah Underwood dressed like that for real y'all y'all gonna sit there and kid me y'all gonna sit up there and kid, kid me that y'all ain't gonna miss that when she was dressed up as Bustus I, I want oh especially when she was dressed up as Patty Mae I'm Patty Mae I'm a dollar That she was looking good as Patty Mae on Madonna, man. That ain't no joke, but but for real though, no, but for real though, I still don't get it that a show like, see, look, she was looking good and Pat, as Patty Mae on Madonna, but uh, for real though, like, why cancel a good show? Why cancel a good show? Because you, we went through so many people on that show, like for real. And to see that the show is going to be canceled in about, a, about the end of this month, it makes me question why you want to take something away from the nerds, man. That's like, ain't G4, ain't G4 about nerds and for nerds? And, uh, And it's sad because I don't miss a lot of people, like, especially when, 
man. I'm going to miss Chris Gore because, hey, hey, man, I need to know what movie. Like, he writes DVDs. I'm going to miss DVD move, do, Tuesday. DVD two, Tuesday. Tuesday, whatever. I'm sorry. DVD Tuesday. DVD Tuesday. I miss that because he writes movies. And that's one thing I'm going to miss. He writes the movies. He raised the movie, and that's one thing. Like I said, I'm just one thing I'm gonna miss. I'm gonna miss Matt Myra doing Gadget Pro, and so is Chris Hartwick. He's from Tennessee. He he did Gadget Pro, and so did Matt Myra. And I'm gonna miss that. That these two guys who did the segment Gadget Pro, and it's gonna be taken away from the nerds. Like, oh, what's coming out? Right this, right that, please. Or the time when Olivia Munn dressed up as a Street Fighter character. Or the time she jumped in the world's biggest pie and Kevin Kevin Pereira jumped in two. Or the time when Kevin Pereira and Olivia Munn sat up on the air and drunk 12 shots of hot sauce. 12 shots of hot sauce. You can't tell me that ain't something ain't up. That wasn't a kick ass, but... It's, like I said, man, to see this show go off the air by the end of this year, man, it's really heartbreaking because cause one thing is, because one thing is, man, I watched it for years, and I think this is the greatest show there is, man, especially for nerds out there, man, because that's where we get our information at, that's where we know what's going on in the world and technology and this and this same with X-Play they rate the games they rate to tell us what's coming out which game is good which game is bad which game is worth buying same because one thing is both shows X-Play and Attack of the Show bringing people who made a game develop a game who was in the game, the voice, the, uh, uh, what company came from, what's the game all about. Same with movies, they have actors, actresses, or which shows are coming out, or which shows are out, and all this and that. But to take that away from us, man, it's very sad. Man, I'd do anything for a tag of the show on, to stay on air. For real, I would do anything. I would, take, I would actually wrestle Duff Ziggler from WWE. I'm gonna beat his ass just to keep attacking the show on. I will be. I will even fight. I will even fight, man. CM Punk just for attacking the show to stay up on the air. Just for them to stay up on the air. And that's and, and I and I and it's all and, and it's saying, man, that why why like I thought G4 was made for nerds, and it seems like it's not. It seems like they taking the shit from nerds. Like G4 is taking everything away from nerds and giving it to and giving it to uh, just just giving it to other people. That's what to me. That's what G4 was made for. It was game for gamers and nerds and dorks and trekkies and Star Star Wars fans. <laughs> that's what I thought, man. But it's sad to see them go, man. I really want them to stick around. I really want to see. I really want to wake up and see Candace Bailey and Sarah Underwood. Oh, okay. I will. I wish she was my baby mama. So, Candace, I wish I wanted to wake up and see them host their show, man. Like why? Like, like I said, man. G four is just throwing. It's just I don't get mad to kill kill off a good show man that's been on for like what eight or nine eight or nine years because they think the show look at David Letterman he's been on for years since the 80s I said where's the where's where's the uh, the nerds and where's the technical geeks and all this and that gonna go to It just, it just,
it just man I just don't understand no more that the show is getting canceled it's getting canceled it's just not a good if you like what he got to say man say I want to that's all I want for Christmas is taking the show to stay on the air follow me on Twitter and after I the Wookie, follow me on time and I'll put it in the description box. Subscribe to my channel, see Lord Junior 2, see Lord Junior 3. Peace, love, and Afro Grease, man. I won't tag the show to stick around longer than, than this rest of this month. Peace, love, and Afro Grease.